Anna Marie Olenek. You are truly the only person in this world who I can fully trust to have my back and be there for me. You are my best friend, and I couldn't be more excited to be married to you. You did so amazing planning this day, and it felt so surreal to be here with you after eight years. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Beyond till death do us part. I believe love to be everlasting during our time here on earth and after. Our connection with each other will live on forever. I can't wait to spend eternity cuddling with you, hosting Browns games, watching new documentaries, and trying to decide what we're getting for takeout every night like it's the toughest decision we'll ever make. But marrying you was the easiest. I love you forever. Anna and Brandon, today will be the start of a new life for the both of you. Marriage is a blessed bond between the two lifelong partners that requires commitment, sacrifice, loyalty, and keeping God at the center. These promises to your marriage shall, be, shall lead to a full of unified love and happiness. Brandon, I know everybody says it, but it really is crazy that this day is actually here, that we're getting married. And so naturally, I think back to how it all began and how we're literally just two dumb college kids with no idea of where life was going to take us, but neither of us really knew how we were going to make this work outside of college. And I remember we said goodbye, and after you left, I laid in your bed and I just cried, not knowing what was going to happen. But look at us now. That girl crying in your bed could never imagine what has transpired over these last eight years and where we are now. That girl was only 19 years old when she met you. <laughs> felt like an adult then, but in reality, we didn't have a clue about anything, and we were just children. Even though it's not always easy, it's been fun to experience all these new things with you. There's nobody else I would want to do this with. Anna and her dad spent countless hours in the backyard and at the park practicing pitching all through her high school career. Little did they know Hannah would go on to play softball at Allegheny College, where she would later meet a pitcher on the baseball team, enter Brandon Ellis, or as our family knows him, B. From the very beginning, Hannah was different around B. Dare I say she was almost pleasant. But as older siblings, we were cautious. It was tough for someone to be as good to be good enough for our little sister. However, B fit in seamlessly with our family. So what does everybody think of this island? I'm sure when you got those uh, save the date cards, you thought, what the hell are they doing? Hilton Head's like our second home, and we appreciate that all of you came here tonight. The love between two people is perhaps our greatest gift because everything that comes out of that love is, is important. We're going to wait in anticipation for those days. Thank you. It says, love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, and love never fails. to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love Hannah and to honor her all the days of her life. If so, please answer by saying, I do. I do. Hannah, do you take Brandon to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love Brandon, to honor him all the days of your life? If so, please answer by saying, I do. I do.
say when a lawyer gets married, they don't say I do, they say I accept the terms and conditions. <laughs> well, I'm really glad you accepted the T's and C's of this lifelong contract with Brandon. Welcome to the family. I give you this ring as a seal of my vows as a seal of my vows as a symbol of my everlasting love as a symbol of my everlasting love and my commitment to you my commitment to you Brandon I give you this ring and I join you in our vows and I join you in our vows as a symbol of my everlasting love as a symbol of my everlasting love and my commitment to you and my commitment to you Since all of us are fully aware that you understand what it means to be married, that you've chosen each other to be joined in this sacred union, in the sight of God and these witnesses, and you've confirmed that truth by giving rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. Whether it was the sports, the video games, or just being of the same blood. Brandon's been my best friend for 30 years, and we're, we've been each other's biggest fans. You know, we, we, keep in, we keep in contact almost every day to this day, and you know, I'll be sure that never changes. You're one of the most genuine and hilarious dudes I know. I'm proud as hell to be your brother. Love you, man. Being Hannah's twin, we have a special bond. Sometimes we take that for granted because it's all we've ever known, but she's always been there for me there for us, there for our family. When we were kids, she would always call us twin best friends, and that always meant a lot to me, and I've always been happy for all the accomplishments she's had, from becoming a lawyer to all her success as a softball player. You know, and the other thing she would always say was, from the womb to the tomb, but after today, we're just gonna have to make a little bit more room for Brandon. 